the format of the robot. In the small town of Wurzburg, Germany, in the year 1988, there lived a troubled 11-year-old boy named Frank Pollin. Frank was a quiet and introverted child who often found solace in his own imagination. However, his gentle nature made him an easy target for the school bullies. Day after day, Frank endured relentless taunting and torment at the hands of his classmates. The constant barrage of insults and physical abuse left him feeling hopeless and trapped. Desperate to escape the pain, he devised a plan that would forever change the course of his tragic story. One evening, in the solitude of his room, Frank decided to end his suffering. With a heavy heart and a trembling hand, he set up a tape recorder, and prepared to leave behind a chilling testament to his torment. The room filled with a haunting silence as he poured out his anguish, capturing his final moments on the audio tape. The next morning, Frank's lifeless body was discovered, suspended from a beam in his attic. The news of his tragic demise sent shockwaves through the close-knit community, leaving them reeling with sorrow and guilt. But little did they know, the true horror was yet to come. Ten years later, in the vibrant city of Cancun, Mexico, a wild party was in full swing. The air was thick with excitement as party-goers danced and reveled in the pulsating beats of the music. Unbeknownst to them, an evil presence lurked among them, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Suddenly, the music screeched to a halt, and a bone-chilling silence fell over the crowd. A malicious individual had taken control of the speakers, hijacking the sound system. A haunting voice, distorted and filled with anguish, emanated from the speakers, filling the air with an eerie presence. The cursed audio, Frank Pollin's final testament, washed over the party goers, causing a myriad of disturbing effects. People clutched their heads, writhing in pain as the haunting voice echoed in their minds. Some collapsed, their faces twisted in terror, while others screamed uncontrollably, unable to escape the nightmarish ordeal. As the audio finally ceased, the crowd was left in a state of shock and disbelief. Panic ensued as the party goers desperately sought answers, wondering who could commit such a heinous act. The authorities were called, and an investigation was launched, but the perpetrator remained elusive, their identity shrouded in darkness. To this day, the person responsible for the cruel hijacking of the party's speakers has yet to be found. Rumors of the cursed audio continue to circulate, warning people of the dangers that lie within. Some claim to have experienced lingering effects long after that fateful night, haunted by the tormenting voice that seeped into their souls. As for Frank Pullin, his tragic tale serves as a chilling reminder of the consequences of bullying, and the lasting impact it can have on those who suffer its torment. His spirit, forever trapped within the cursed audio, serves as a grim warning to those who dare to disturb his eternal slumber. And the search for the malevolent individual who unleashed his torment upon an unsuspecting crowd in Cancun continues, a mystery that lingers in the shadows, waiting to be unraveled. <laughs>